pull a plus one bow on the on the table for a creature no. of the CR that you just fought. That's right. rather cool. Yeah. If you don't want to wait till eighth level, then yeah, that's then they're right. nice. <laughs> we might there something could have magic, like it might need magic to bypass. Yeah, true. Or yeah, or something. So, Darren's gonna sneak off into the shadows. Okay. Ooh, what a with creepy. a twenty-six. Okay. Spooky. Fucking elf. And and, and also, if you have a magic bow, I mean, I'm pretty sure it stacks. So. Probably. He's just Darren. gonna sneak off into the shadows where no one can see him and just meditate. Okay. okay. At least for the first. Yeah. Huh. Wow. He's got that. Oh, you know what he's got? He's got the little elf. The little naked <laughs> female elf. <laughs> oh, the dragon's he's off in the woods with him by himself. Good. I'm glad this is happening. It's like my Saturday Wednesday game. Oh. All right. Uh, you're going to switch in a six bowl now. And it's starting to look like he's getting sick from this. But he's <laughs> yeah, probably. Out. He's probably. like a train choo choo. Yeah. You've probably been uh, scorched or whatever the term is. I don't know. Stuff <laughs> your mouth gets too hot from smoking or whatever. Oh, yeah, and it kind of, like, goes numb. I don't know. I don't smoke, so. <clears throat> well, uh... That was my nephew, by the way. I ain't no daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, <laughs> like, just for like the viewers, make sure that they know. That, that, that was, so uh, all you ladies sure. out there, that was and not that's his what I was kid. Thinking, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't, Comes with I don't baggage. Know if he's available, but he doesn't have a kid. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that, that kid scares me. Kid, kid friendly, me. but kid free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The best yeah, of both I'm worlds. Awful. You got a baby. He could be that baby. <laughs> <laughs> he could be your baby's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a bit of a strange turn, but yes. You no, know, I, I think it's funny. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, spiraling out of control. <laughs> yeah. When uh, when Uthgrim's finished with uh, the burial of the ox, one of our companions, you know. Um, He's going to go spend some time alone, just sewing up his sack shirt. Okay. We got, we got, we got this robe that has a new sack for you if you want it. <laughs> oh no, man! This sack shirt got history. Sad that the robe doesn't have dogs on it. Dogs? <laughs> yeah, they come with war dogs. I thought. One of the, in at least the previous edition, they did. Well, there, are, there are certain items that that it comes with, and then there's a table that I rolled on for the other ones. Ah. So there might have been dogs on there. Yeah. Cool. War dogs, it's fun, and they're friend, they're friendly war dogs specifically. Yeah. It'd be kind of shitty if you threw out some dogs <laughs> that are like enemies now. Well, if we we're XP grinding, yeah. <laughs> I actually heard because there's a robe of bones as well, and I actually overheard a conversation one time between two guys. Who were like, "Yeah, so like we gotta get some extra XP. What if we just buy a robe of bones and then we just start throwing them down and killing the like skeletons or whatever are on these things." Any GM that would allow that would be kind of ridiculous. I, I agree. <laughs> it's like perversion of the rules. So like our that. cart's gone now. Our cart's gone, but we don't have anything to carry anymore. So we can make better Our's time? Yeah. How much? <laughs> this is true, um, but the problem is, is Mastig traded his horse for that calf. That, that oxen. So we're, we're short a mount. Yeah, it did, it did kill the horses? No, just the ox. So I guess we'll have to... Um, maybe we can ride two to a saddle? Navarra's I mean, Mastig and Narvara might be able to share because they're tiny. See, Mastig is heavy, thick. though, man. He's probably you and Thurin, maybe? I don't know. Dwarves are built maybe. like Russian submarines. Navarra's <laughs> cool as long as she doesn't have to ride with you. That was so you random. <laughs> yeah, I did. I all of a sudden just tweaked. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. Navarra is cool with riding with somebody as long as it's not Uriel or Ulysses at this point. Yeah. Is Uriel she's still unsure about? I, I wash my shirt. And Ulysses somewhere. is worse. Yeah, yeah Uriel is right now. <laughs> wow, I have I have really created some discord this week with. Oh man, I know. Like, <laughs> last week was like we were like this, 
And now it's like, oh. Likes wow. is the master of, like, drama. Now, <laughs> should write for the BBC. Moments, I felt like there was some definite, like, like actual anxiety. So I hope this Animosity. Is yeah, like, I hope this doesn't actually carry over. I feel like people were really getting into their characters, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, the point where the character meets and the player meets is a fine line. It can be tough, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the heated situations. I'm glad this didn't happen on like. And I second... apologize personally to Chrissy for making any implication on her word choice. Yeah. Just, just, just know that when I Sometimes say things, the word it's... choices are a bit rough, though. I know I used the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't want to pronoun. Make... Pronoun. I use the wrong pronoun, but anything I say that may sound vaguely insulting, understand that it is Nivara's. Oh, yeah. Thought Only good feels at this table. Me. Only good feels. Yeah. She she has established that Nivara is fairly insulting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's, you're all humans. Yeah. I mean. I feel like if this had happened on our second session, like yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Sure. This is a session you could like, have you know, on a like... table that hadn't met a lot. Yeah. 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 Not a session. The one no. you could have. Just had. just just know that Nivara is yeah. a high elf. Yeah, she yeah. does have that animosity towards humans naturally. But Normally she would have it towards dwarves, but. You know, she, she's gotten over that. She loves yeah. dwarves because they're good at drinking songs. It's hard <laughs> hard. But I wanted to publicly make sure yeah. you know, it wasn't oh, a problem right, and I didn't actually mean any harm by it. Yeah. And, like, you know, I uh, I whispered that ready to action to Lex, but, like, my ready to action was to dodge. I just thought yeah. that that would be funny at the oh, time. God. Yeah, and it's then a build like, tension. Because kind of it, it was like, oh, shit, this got a lot more heated than I <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, no, I didn't want to cause like real drama, but I thought it'd be kind of funny. But I was like, oh, yeah. I, mean, I could like do a shove action or something. But I was like, no, nah, I don't want to ever. Because once you start down that path, I kind of feel like it's hard to come back. Yeah, if if anybody would have attacked or shoved Ulysses, he wouldn't have been there at that wagon. That character would have been dead to the yeah. party. Yeah. Um, Navarro was only going to do something to stop the violence. Which dead to been, the party. You know, unless you but... use the like, calm emotions. I don't have that spell yet, or she would have done it. But Uriel was just straight up fucking confused. Whole time he was like, "Lost the dragon egg." Not good, guys. I mean, as a player, I really didn't expect us to ever get to keep those eggs, but um. Oh, you guys also noticed that the two eggs that were smashed. There's not as much uh, carnage there as you think there should have been. Oh, so it was sad. Okay. I mean, like, it like, looks like some of it was consumed. Some of the innards of the eggs. Oh. Yeah. Never mind, then. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like, Rats you know, like, people nice. cut the top off. And then... never yeah. Been, who will they ever you be? You ever heard of Baloo? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, where it's uh, the ha fermented yeah. or fertilized egg. Yeah, yeah. There's two versions. There's, like, the Indonesian version and there's the Vietnamese version. I've eaten the Vietnamese version twice. I I would try it, but man, I don't. I'd be wary. Actually, it doesn't. It actually tastes pretty decent. It's Have you ever tried the century this. eggs? Have you ever tried a century egg? Would you? Uh yeah. I I've I tried just for it. I I would try a century egg as long as it was offered by a reputable supplier. A hundred percent. Yeah, I would not try one like from a street vendor. What is that? Century egg is a egg that hasn't been fertilized that is put in the ground with uh, various caustic chemicals and then sat for like a year and the egg gets very black and what side on the inside it becomes black the consistency of a soft boiled egg and people eat them hmm. it has an odor of sulfur and ammonia <laughs> it's really That's not appetizing ones that are supposedly yeah, like prepared correctly don't smell okay Supposedly. I would eat one if I was really, really, really hungry and there was nothing else. <laughs> or really, really, really drunk. Yeah, I've and traveled, it was a bet. I've traveled a bunch in Asia, so I try, I've like tried a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> Just because, you know. Well, uh... Yeah. Look forward to lore posted on the community page, everyone. Yeah. 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 This right. Could be a lot of different yeah. interpretations of how all this went tonight. Yeah. yeah. Dwayne, so, you've been a bit quiet for the past little while, man. Is everything okay? Yeah. No, I'm just kind of tired. Okay. Trevor, oh. let me know about the Tuesdays, and once we hear from you, we can figure out what we're gonna do. But it looks like everybody's good for the next few Tuesdays, so maybe we can also grab one of those. I massively doubt it. Um, 
people aren't like free on Saturdays and Wednesdays late to do a different campaign. <laughs> on what day? Spot it. Saturdays and Wednesdays <laughs> late. Um, yeah, no, not I'm not. Until another three to four weeks. Okay. Because we have. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Right I'll do it, Nathan. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it. Seriously, you're available. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is All like right. seven or eight to like midnight on both Saturday and Wednesdays. That sounds like fun. Okay, well, yeah, if you want to spot, you're gonna deal with a totally different type of DM than Lex over here. <laughs> All right, I have a character idea I want to play with. Yeah, we're we're level because of healer. Uh, no, we need a healer. That's that's kind of yeah, a. I'm gonna. So I kind of want to play a bard. Okay, cool. Um, I'll totally get in touch with our GM and Bards do not get a make message the best out healer. to you, and it'd right. be great. Then I'll play a cleric that's silly. Our if other the healer that we lost was a ranger, so we could use yeah. Uh, we literally okay. have a ranger healer. So yeah. Cool. Well, um, I guess are we done for the night now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Didn't Thanks mean to everyone. rep a different game on Lex's thing, but I won't. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, right. it's not that streamed. Other game got, it got yeah. shit on this game. Yeah. The other game is streamed <laughs> or recorded, and this is the best one that you can find in town. So that's right. This, this camp, right. Uh, whatever and, town and you're and in, around. Yeah, <laughs> around. any town. Yeah. This is the best one. You've got Acquisitions Incorporated, the Tyranny of Dragons with Lex and the crew. And and we have a lot more content than Acquisitions Incorporated. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Constant content every Thursday. Might have the occasional Tuesday someday. Who knows? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. That'd be cool. Since we're done, I'm gonna. Right. Yeah. Later, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you next Bye. week. And Bye. Kyle, I'll send you a message on Rule Twenty. Okay. Did just Steam this private message? Oh yeah, I can just. All right. Let's see if I can get this to work. Yay! It worked. All right. So I do a little wrap up. Um, so that was that was a lot of fun. Um, so again, this is off the rails, <laughs> uh, off of the published adventure. The last two sessions have been, um, there's a, some traveling from Greenest to El Troll that the adventure doesn't really give you anything for. So I decided to take this opportunity to come up with some of my own stuff. And so this encounter was one I was really curious about. Um, I wanted to make it, uh, challenging. This is only the second fifth edition encounter I've I've designed myself um, and you know, I did it in three waves and I wanted it to be challenging, but you know, not overwhelming. And it, it played out pretty well. Um, I was a little worried about the dragon because uh, Nathan's character, um, Ulysses can shoot that bow out to 600 feet. Um, and the dragon only had a 60 foot move. So I was, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get the dragon out of there alive. Um, but then I remembered the whole line of sight thing with the forest nearby and, uh, it, it worked out. Okay. Um, that's kind of, kind of what I wanted to happen. I wanted to have the dragon make an appearance and then retreat to its lair. And then, uh, I was hoping that, that they'd go after it and they did. And then the dragon, uh, tried to bargain for his life. And that was, that was really interesting. I wasn't sure what they would do with that. I, I didn't really anticipate that there would be so much, um, arguing or disagreeing among the characters about which way to go. Um, so, so that was, that was entertaining and that was fun. And, uh, it's interesting how it played out. And so now, uh, uh, that dragon's out there somewhere. What was his name again? Carol, Carol Duranthar. He is out there and he's not too happy with these guys and he's got a green dragon egg now. So, uh, yeah, he might have to make an appearance again later. Um, that would be fun. So thanks for watching. We do this every Thursday, six 30 Eastern daylight time. We're trying to get some Tuesdays lined up. Won't be every Tuesday, probably won't even be every other Tuesday, but we're going to try at least once or twice a month, maybe, to uh, get a Tuesday session in as well. So um, I will, you know, I'll post on Twitter and on Google Plus when we do that. So you can follow me on Twitter at Lex Starwalker or just search for Lex Starwalker on Google Plus and uh, I will 
keep you informed. I also have a schedule, a schedule here on my Twitch channel. So I'll try to keep that updated. So keep an eye on, on that for, uh, the, the Tuesday games. Hopefully those will happen. And, uh, all of these are on YouTube, youtube.com slash C slash Starwalker studios. And you can find all the previous episodes and they're, they're all there on YouTube. So, uh, thanks for watching and we will see you next week.